So we are going to discuss the applications of CUDA in deep learning. GPUs are the standard devices for over which DL models are typically trained. Hence, several popular deep learning frameworks such as PyTorch and TensorFlow are built over CUDA to enable DL model training on GPUs efficiently and quickly. These frameworks are written in C++ and CUDA and has exposed extensions in Python to ease lives of machine learning engineers, researchers, and data scientists. Now one needs to call and use these Python functions and internally CUDA kernels gets launched for executing operations on GPUs. Now we may, why, why we may need to implement our kernel? That's an obvious question because since, because we can directly use these Python operate, PyTorch operations, right? Why do we want to implement the own kernel? PyTorch doesn't know the algorithm we are implementing. It only knows the individual operations we use to compose our algorithm. As such, PyTorch must execute our operations individually, one after the other. Since each call to the kernel of the operation may involve the launch of CUDA kernel and has certain amount of overhead, this overhead may become significantly significant across many function calls. Furthermore, the Python interpreter running our code can itself slow down our program. Therefore, our definite method of speeding up is to rewrite parts in C++ or CUDA and fuse particular groups of operations. Fusing means combining the implementation of many functions into single functions, which may profit from fewer kernel launches and other optimizations we can perform with increased visibility of global flow of data. Let's take a very simple example if, in which we want to compute y equals to sigmoid into sigmoid. Not that this simple operation can be directly implemented in Python using the PyTorch Python extensions, but we want to do it in uh, CUDA uh, in C++ basically to understand the process involved in writing our own kernels. Definitely in this case, this is not a good solution, but we are just using this example for simplicity. So we just need to specify the forward pass, which is in pure C++. We can directly use this torch.extensions edge, and then we can use the torch.tensor object from this uh, file. And then we can just uh, use this library to get the sigmoid, and then just do the product, which is sigmoid into sigmoid. And then we'll have to rewrite the backward pass also because PyTorch expects us both the forward pass implementation and the backward pass implementation. So here we are simply differentiating the sigmoid function, uh, which is basically two sigmoid into differentiation of sigmoid. Uh, we're differentiating sigmoid square. Yeah, uh, and then we further we can just uh, use uh, we can just link it with setup.py file and use the PyTorch extensions directly using the Python API. Thanks a lot.